Welcome back to another lesson on text processing. In this lesson, we will look at how to parse CSV files. And the objective is that students will read data stored in a CSV file into their Python script. That's what I hope you get out of this. The word, or the acronym CSV stands for comma separated values files. And they're a tabular data set with columns and rows. Just like you see in a spreadsheet, like in Excel, right? You open up a table in Excel, you have columns and rows, and you have little cells, right, with different data. Um, you can put in those cells. So that's what a CSV file is intended to do, is to hold data that's in a tabular format. The Python module Pandas provides a tabular data structure called a data frame. Okay, so here is their landing page. Um, and um, so data structure, right? So we've seen different data structures in this class. We've seen the list, Python, right? A Python list is a data structure. We've seen dictionaries, another data structure. Um, and so a data frame is another data structure that this module provides. And it's like, again, like I said, it's basically just a table. Just think of an Excel table. That's what it is in Python, a data frame is. And um, so data can be read in from either a CSV file or an Excel file, an actual um, .xlsx file, or a .csv file, or even a .tsv file, a tab separated file. Anything that's a, the tabular data set, it can bring in. I've only ever used TSV, CSV, and Excel files. I imagine it can do other stuff. It can bring in other tabular data sets, but um, those are the ones that I've used. So the logic is pretty simple. Um, you first download pandas and then in your script you would import it you import pandas and then you read in um, the data from the csv file or the excel file and then the next step is to loop over the rows and then the final step is within the body of the for loop you um, access data in the columns that you need to access data out of that's that's the logic that's how you do that so let me demo that for you. I don't even have a practice. It's, it's that simple. I don't even feel the need to give you a practice. I just want to have it demo this for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to read in a data from Excel file and uh, pull out the text from a specific column. And the CSV file was created by the Whisper Automated Speech Recognition Software. Whisper is um, ASR, Automated Speech Recognition Software, created by OpenAI. And uh, it's really good, a really good ASR system. That does a really good job. Um, I use that system to transcribe the audio of this interview I did with my parents-in-law. So I was on first. Here we go. All right, today is December 31st, 2022. It has been nearly 50 years, or more than 50 years, that is, 50 years and um, 10 days since you guys got married in the LA Temple. And so, we wanted to ask you guys about, um, anyway, there you go. That is the audio, uh, the interview that I transcribed with the Whisper ASR system. Well, I had Whisper transcribe it for me, right? Um, that interview was an hour and 11 minutes long. And so what it created is, let me show you what it created. Um, if I grab my viewer and bring it over to this screen, it created this CSV file. Well, it created several different things, like five different files, but this CSV file right here, if I open it up and bring it over into this screen for us and zoom in a bit, let me make this bigger and zoom it in. So you can see what it does. It creates a CSV file with four columns. Here we have, in the first column, we have the case. Well, I relabeled these, but case, and then we have the start timestamp, and then the end timestamp of the current utterance, and then the actual text that was said in that utterance. So at the beginning of the interview, I said, all right, today is December 31st, 2022. And then the next utterance, there's a start timestamp and the end timestamp time in, uh, this is, um, these are millis these are hundreds of a second and seconds, hours, no minutes and hours. Anyway, so those are the timestamps and the text right there. So there's our CSV file, just has those four columns. And there are, I think almost 2000 rows in here, 2000 different utterances across that hour and 11 minute interview that were transcribed. So I wanna get access to the, the, human, the human speech right there, the transcription of the human speech. That's what I wanna get access to. 
Okay, so let's do that. I'll just demo that for you over in PyCharm using <clears throat> this bit of, bit, uh, bit of code. Well, let me actually before this point, let me just show you how you would download that. We're gonna we need to go to our preferences window, right? <clears throat> uh, settings window, and if we go to Python. Uh, interpreter right under project colon the project name you gave it Python interpreter cool um, I already have pandas in here but if you do not have pandas in there in here you would click on the plus sign search for pandas like the bear plural right it says powerful data structures for data analysis time series and statistics you would install the package like that right I've already done so here so I'm not going to do it now but that's what you would do to install it and then you just import it um, like that. And I'm also importing OS so I can change directories right here on, on line four. Make this even bigger for us. Um, okay. So on line four, I simply change directories into the directory on my hard drive that has the CSV file. And then on line five, I say pandas, which actually you'll see often people do this um, as PD. They use an alias to rename it. Um, that's You'll see that often with pandas. They'll say import as, import pandas as pd, like I do in line two. And then down here, you all, all you have to write is pd rather than pandas. Um, anyway, you'll see that a lot often, so I'll just do that. So here on line five, I say df, I'm just gonna use the variable name df for data frame equals, and then pd, that is pandas, dot read underscore csv. And here I have the name of the csv file. I'm just gonna jump back over to my finder real quick. And show you that the name is that right there. It's the it's the, the date, year, month, day, and then the initials of my parents in law right there. Dot CSV. That's what I have right here. And you know what? Let's just do this incrementally. Let me just go, let me print out DF. Print out DF like that before we loop over everything. So I'm just gonna comment out line seven and eight just to print out the DF, the data frame. And when I if I run this with the keyboard shortcut, ready, set, go, it does that. So down here in the bottom part of my screen, I now see that the data in the data frame sitting here. Now it is not displaying everything. It actually is not displaying the start and end columns in this little printout display, but they actually are there available. And it's only printing out the first five and the last five rows of the whole data frame. And it has ellipsis for the, the intervening rows there. So it's just kind of a summary printout of what's happening there. But you can see there's the text of what I said there. Um, you guys got married in the LA Temple. Okay, good. So there, it's reading it incorrectly, that's good. We wanna, make, we wanna make sure that's happening before we move on. And then now, what we're gonna do on line six is we're gonna get into a for loop, right? For, and <clears throat> what I'm using over here, df.iter rows, open close parentheses, actually returns two things. It returns an index, that is a number, and then the actual row with the data. Let me just show you real quick that it does that. I'll just print index and comment out this uh, line eight. So I just wanna print out the number of the index. It should just print out from zero to the number of rows in the data frame. Yep, bottom part of my screen shows that. It went from zero, an index of zero at the first row, all the way down to the bottom row of that data frame which apparently um, has an index of 1197. Good. And then the row is holding the data. So let me just not do that anymore and uncomment this. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm using two variables in this for loop. One, the index is just the number like we just saw. The row is actually holding the data, the current row. Right, it's holding one of these at a time, like this one at a time and then the next one etc. And you can index into the specific column that you need with the column name, like this. So if I jump to the, the top of this data frame, you can see that the first column is called case, the second was start, then end, and then text. And if I wanted to print out just um, the start time and the text, not the whole row, but just the start time of the utterance, where it happens in the hour and 11 minute interview, and the text that was said in the utterance, if I run this keyboard shortcut, I should see that now. Yep. So starting at 57 minutes and 57 seconds into the interview, um, the worst worst part in his the worst storm in history in Provo, that's what was said um, at that timestamp. 
in um, in the interview. Just for fun, let's go double check. If I jump back over to that, if I just jump down to 5757 real quick, just for fun, just to verify that that is the case, I'll jump down to 5757. Let's listen to this real quick. Neither. But the night of the reception was bad the weather. Worst, worst storm in history in Provo. Mm -hmm. so that's what she said, and that's what uh, we see right there. Okay, so it's that simple. I mean, there's not much code going on here. There's I have seven lines. If I take out that space, I have six lines of code that pulls in the data from the CSV file, iterates over the rows one at a time, and I'm pulling out two columns that interest me, the start time of the utterance and the text that was set at that start, at that uh, timestamp. So it's that easy. Um, that, that little code can do all that. And um, so that's how you parse out or parse uh, data in a CSV file into a, a Python script that you could then do something. Like if I wanted to at this point, right, I could throw this text into a part of speech tagger and pull out all the adjective and nouns if I wanted to, or I could do a regular expression search and find all the words that end in ed or end in tion or sion or whatever I wanted to do, right? With that text, I could do it um, right within this, this uh, the body of the for loop there on line six. So yeah, it's that simple to parse um, CSV files in Python. So let's jump back to here. Um, so yeah, that is it. That's how you do, that's how you read data stored in a CSV file um, into a Python script. And then do, you can do something with that text or whatever you need to do at that point. Again, like I said, it also works with uh, Excel, but you would have to use a different function. Let me show that real quick. If it were an Excel file, uh, if this were XLSX, right, I would have to change this read CSV to read Excel, I think is the, I think that's the function name. Pretty darn sure. Yeah, it is that function. That's the function name. If it were an Excel file, and if they had multiple sheets, you'd have to specify the sheets. Um, I think there's a parameter to specify the sheets out here. Like I'm not sure if it's sh yeah sheet name, and then the sheet name uh, that has the specific data you want to pull in from the Excel file. But with a CSV file, there's only one sheet, right? There's only one thing, so um, it would just be like that. Okay, so yeah, it's that simple. There you go. At this point, you should be able to read in data stored in a CSV file into your Python script. So with that, we come to a quick conclusion of this video. Let me know if you have troubles and I can help you out. See you next time.